Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Violet the Series. I'm Big LT. It's the Groovy. How's it going? Now you sound awake. You wanna explain that one? Rangers. He did, he sounded very tired when he got here, so. Cause you said you woke up at four. Yes, I went to bed right around ten, ten thirty. Exactly. Also in I the morning. Yes. Also, I'd like to apologize for um not recording this let's play for a while. A, been busy shiny hunting. B, I've been playing a little bit of Gran Turismo 7 because I'm trying to do some stuff on there. I'm actually waiting until 6 o'clock tonight, but by the time we get done with this recording, I can check that quickly. C, my friend in Northern Ireland wanted me to play GTA now that he's got the game on PlayStation 5. And D, because of Parker, I've been hooked on Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town. So, a lot of things have been keeping me busy. Also, E, this one's kind of minor, but I've also been working on the second channel, too. Yes, my... My twin has been keeping you busy. Yeah, because he always pestered me to play GTA with him. Which hasn't been going very well because we keep lying out. I'm not actually related to... Yeah, the, he, the twin. Exactly, he just looks like him. Which is scary. Yeah, but anyway... And it also took me a while to actually get around to doing this. I actually did this yesterday. The team is now all round 47. Parker told me, I believe in the last episode, I need to be at 46. I went one step further and went and made everybody 47. So, hopefully we'll do okay with this gym. I heard it's actually the strongest and brutalist. Also, um, one, more, one more thing before attack life. If, the char if my character or anything I'm doing kind of like does this on its own, and you guys will know, um, my controller is starting to drip, so hopefully we'll be okay. Actually, I forgot I was going to use the Joy-Cons for this, but oh well. I'll just use it for this one episode, and maybe next time I'll remember to use the Joy-Cons. I found this show actually the easiest, one of the easiest ones. And what level were you at? Um, it's been a while. Okay. But then again, I did start with the, the one that's the best choice for this game anyway. Well, you chose a crocodile. Yes, because... But you're even weak against that at that point. All right, he was fully evolved. Exactly. It's fire ghost. Ghost beats ghost. And not to, not to mention, it's probably just me, though, but that thing's kind of a little bit on the slow side, I've noticed. He also had the uh, crunch, so that helped. Okay. It's probably got a lot of power. It's probably really powerful. It's just a little bit on the slow side. See. Actually, I need to double check um, my potions. It's either Crunch or uh, yeah. Shadow Ball. It's one of the two that he had. The what? Either Shadow Ball or Crunch. It was one of the two that I had. That I know Shadow and I believe. I don't know if you can learn Shadow Ball. I know you can learn Shadow Ball, but I don't know if it was a level up thing. Unless you're. I was going to say, unless it was something like Snarl. No, I didn't do a Okay. I don't... Actually, no, Shadow Ball wouldn't make sense either because I... No, he has a special attacker. Never mind. It's, um... The other two starters, I believe, that are the physical attackers. The fire type is actually the uh, special attacker. I want to get ten of these. I don't think... Oh, there they are. Okay. Uh, let's get five, just to be on the safe side. Alright, there we go. Should be good to go. If anything, actually, am I healed? Yes, I am. Uh, if anything, I should be good to go. Um, first off, um, Frigoraph here is a normal psychic type, so if we, if it, there is any ghost involved, I mean, there's going to be ghost involved, but you know what I mean. If, if, they, if they decide to use a ghost type move, it won't do any damage to it because of being a normal type. I'm probably going to be not using Grafiai on account of possibility of any psychic type moves. There is a possibility that they will know any dark type moves and this will probably be a problem. And I'm going to be starting with these two. And this gym is a double battle. This thing's a dark type. I am very well aware that I have an advantage with this thing at least as much as I can. I will have to worry about her ace being at the time poison type. And then this thing, of course, I know it's pretty speedy. So these two being the speediest, I think we can do pretty well. I just hope um, things go well. 
You actually have one of my favorites uh, in your team right now. Um, oh, is it this thing? Yep. Yeah. But here's the thing. I haven't decided if I'm going to keep it on the team officially or not. So, well, time to actually, um, hang on a second. I, I do remember. Oh, yeah, I don't have a weird cane. Um, I was like, I do remember I, all my Pokemon were chained through the uh, Let's Go thing. So, I didn't really get into any battling battling. Like, real battling. So, I don't know if that, that thing's at the level where it should be. Yeah. I don't even know if this thing's at the level it should evolve at, so. Well, to be honest, you technically have two of my favorites now that I think of it. Oh, yeah, what's that? Uh, the Drago. Yeah. And, um, the, um, uh, Sir Ledge. I was going to say that one, right? Truth be told, I fell in love with Grafaya the moment I saw it and uh, re revealed in that one trailer with the whole thing with the through the trees. Mm -hmm. I was like, "Oh, I want him." I named him. And, and Parker know. and Parker like Figuraf. I didn't like it. So it was well, that's the reason why we're keeping it on the team. I like Belly Bolt only because of Iono, and I like the Grass Star because I feel like the Grass Cat was kind of cute. And I, and I wasn't disappointed with the fact that it's bipedal. I know a lot of people are, but I'm one of those people where it's like, I don't care if it's bipedal, quadruped, I could care less. As long as it looks cool or or I can or I can actually feel like I would love to use it, I'm all for it. It was the same with Litten at the time when I was Team Litten before I went to become uh, Team Poplio because I realized I liked the mermaid idea better. Um, or I know it's a siren, but it's it, I feel like it's still the best of both worlds. Um, so exactly speaking, it's like, okay, I went to Poplio for that reason, because I, I like mermaids slash sirens. Um, but even when I was Team Litten at, at the first time, I was like, yeah, I still like, I still like Litten, I like Torcat, I like Incineroar. You know, the fact that Incineroar got into Smash and a lot of people wanted to see you know, I didn't mind that. There's only a couple of starting revolutions that I can like. Mm -hmm. Popular was one. I like the original idea that they were going to have with it. A clown. A buff freaking clown. And uh, Quaxley's fully evolution. Oh, I, I like it. I like it. I like Quaxley's uh, full evolution because it's a peacock. I wanted to see it as a bird. You, you and Parker were both explaining that you think you wanted to see like a buff sailor pirate kind of thing. Yeah, because it makes sense. Because it's, uh, what, Spain? Right? Yeah, it's based on Spain. But can be to those? Uh, I was going to say peacocks can be too, but I think it's the idea that it's a peacock and the... Uh, no, I was thinking of flamenco dancing, but I don't know if that's the case either. We might actually destroy this gym with the way we are right now. Holy uh, cow! I saw so I have to look later. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what it is in Spain they they use. So I've heard flamenco dancing, which mm -hmm. probably explains the flamingo a little bit. But even I don't think that's <laughs> where they were going with it. This is good, boys. Did he just heal it? Yes, he did. Huh. And a little bit stronger Pokemon here. He's, they're using a Haunter now. No, I feel I feel like Cerulex can take out that Haunter. I, if I remember right, I don't think Haunter has the greatest uh, defenses. I could be wrong. Okay, Mr. Service is taking out. Good. Bye-bye. The reason why I wanted to tackle, uh, or, uh, well, not tackle, but... Oh, it's going to use Curse. Well, that's fine. It's not going to make a difference. It's going to cut its own HP in half. That makes it easier to take it out. Fine. <laughs> that makes it easier. 
Curse is such a weird move. Like, I don't know anybody that uses it competitively. Because that's the thing, like, even if you get the curse on you, like, once you get inflicted with curse, you could just switch. Yep. And then, and then you just wasted that time dealing your half of your own HP just to, just to cause a curse on there. And I get it, it's probably one of the, maybe people use it if it's not a ghost type. If it's not a ghost type, I can understand that. Like, for example, like, you can have, like, a Dunsparce use Curse, and all it does is raise your attack and defense and lower your speed. That makes a little more sense. I can see the competitive behind that. But when used with a Ghost, that's where I feel like, can you even, like, can you find, like, a way to use it competitively? Oh, like, we gotta save a life. We don't even have a fairy... Do we have a fairy No, we don't. Uh, it's like, can you not? You know, I'm more scared of that Drift Bloom right now that I feel like I should gang up on. Never mind, I didn't have to. <laughs> Aftermath, yeah. The, the fact that it was a flying type and the Meows Grotto is grass type. There. That's why I was kind of. Bitter Blade. Bitter Blade? What? I, Ooh. I haven't heard of this attack. What is it? I have not heard of it either. Uh, user focuses the better feelings towards the world of the living into a slashing attack. The user's HP is restored by, by up to half the damage taken by the target. Huh. So it's basically like a Giga Drain, but a fire type move, and it's physical. Ooh. I like that. I'm going to get rid of Flame Charge. I need to level my guy up. I want to I want to see this. I want to see this attack. If this, uh... Okay, I say, well, I survived. That's fine. Uh, okay, okay. No, that's fine. Yeah, because we've been taking everybody out in one hit. Uh, our stats would normally raise like this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> normally they would. Uh, okay, I'm going to switch my uh, Miascarada out. I'm going to throw in Arctibax. And we're actually going to see this better play. Sableye is pretty weak right now, so I would imagine it wouldn't make a difference. I like his uh, play elevation. Yeah, we'll get there. Hopefully this episode. Hmm. Yeah. Neat. Yeah. Of course, we didn't heal much, but that's only because Table I didn't have as much HP. Yeah. I'm actually going to like that attack now. I like both forms of uh, uh, the Kid Death's evolution. Yep. I like. I think. I think I like the Ghost Fire type the best. The Fire Psychic, I, I may take a while for me to warm up, but a lot of Pokemon are like that. It reminds me of Mega Man. Yep. Because it was one move. Yep. Pass the gym test. With almost no damage. Almost. Yeah. That save light did uh, get the only, was was the only one that got any damage on me. Mm -hmm. She's actually a teacher. Hmm. Crowd is so loud it could wake the dead. Hmm. Darn it, that was too slow. I think that'll work. I think that, I like that one the best. She's a teacher. She's a teacher at the school. Yep. Huh. Didn't know that. Uh, let's see. I should probably go heal. I can actually go and heal at the Pokemon Center. That's the one thing I like about uh, Scarlet and Violet when it comes to the... Well, I mean, every Pokemon gym thing can do that. Oh, yeah. Uh, Sword and Shield actually was a little bit different because you had to have passed the gym test first before oh, you could yeah. do that. And I get the same things happening here, too, but... It's one of those, I feel like it's weird because when you take the gym test in this game, um, like a lot of it is pretty easy. Like for example, the bug one, you don't have to, you don't have to battle the gym trainers to even yeah, you can pass just... the gym test. You can avoid the two. 
they say it's a shortcut, but you, the thing is, is like it's not much of a shortcut because you just get that stuff done before you even battle them or finish battling them. The grass one is just basically finding the sun flora. Yeah. I know in this series we had battled one sun flora, but when I did this game on my main account, basically um, all I did was find the ten sun flora. I didn't even have to battle any of them, so I think I got lucky again. The MC of R.I.P. I guess uh, Iono's would have been the first one where you have to see it through to the end. Yep. Which I don't mind. The fourth one's the water guy, if I remember right. Yeah. If and you want to order, yes, he is the fourth. Yeah, and technically speaking, the only thing you do in a gym test for that is you battle the one trainer, and then you have to bid on that one item, and then you face him. So it's not much, it's, you only get the one battle, so it's not a big deal. Oh yeah, this is where they do it like a rap battle. Yep. <laughs> and that's the thing, she only drops that one thing there, she only drops this one thing here and then the guy leaves. Because he feels like he lost. See, look at this. She's like, what? Hold up, where are you going? That's all you got? And I like how her eyes is like Undertaker here. Like like WWE Undertaker, how he hit rolls his eyes back. Yep. Yeah, that's a, that's what I imagine she's doing right here. Because like, that's the whole thing. Like She's a ghost type trainer. And she's even mentioned earlier, she's like, this is not to wake the dead. Hmm. And again, she's even known as the MC of RIP. So, And Undertaker used to always do the rest. In peace. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I could see Undertaker actually liking this one character just because of this. Mm -hmm. Just because of what just because of what Pokemon gave her and everything. Say that battle, that battle. It's funny. Fine, this is one time. Oh shit! Oh. My controller did it. I've only pressed down once and the controller did it. W controller. I literally did want to press that. I'm not even kidding, but my controller just wound up doing that. I wasn't kidding when I said it was drifting. It's funny. It's like, she just like laughs like, <laughs> no, <you're> not. <laughs> if I remember right, she has. Five Pokemon? Four or five? One of the two. I think it's literally four. We'll find out here in a sec. Well, not quite a sec, but close to it. Gym Leader Rhyme. Bayonet and Mimikyu. So we're gonna we're gonna be taking damage regardless because of that Mimikyu. Because we have to break its disguise. Four. Alright, um, I'm going to use Night yeah, I'm going to use Night Slash on Bayonet, and Shadow Claw on the Mimikyu, I don't know. The Mimikyu I know is Ghost Fairy, so I have an idea, I want to try to break its disguise first for it. Bane, that is out. She's got three left. All right, broke the skies. Houndstone. Hey, we did two. Come on. Okay, yeah, we did get our stats raised. We are getting our stats raised, that's good. All right, that'll, I'm gonna use Flower Trick on Mimikyu. Hear me out on this. Flower Trick 
would would always land a critical hit. So I'm going to I'm going to do that just for the sake of that. And then we're going to use the uh, shadow. Oh, using shadow sneak on. Okay. But I'm going to use shadow claw on the uh, houndstone. There we go. I was I called the right move. The critical hit mattered. It might have mattered. And the Houndstone's out. That means her own, only her ace is remaining. This is actually a lot easier than when I first battled her. I was down in my last Pokemon in that, in that battle. Actually, then again, they I just remember. We did get our stats raised, too. So maybe that was also the reason why um, that move did so, did so much damage at the time. All right, so she's using a Toxtricity. It is a Poison Electric type, but her but the Terra type will be Ghost. Oh God, we're still getting our stats raised a lot. All right, Night Slash Toxtricity. Even if even if one of us goes down, if if it goes faster for some reason, we will hands down take it out pretty easily. I'm actually kind of curious what Ghost type move the um, Toxtricity has. Oh, check it out. She's literally raising the dead. <laughs> this is, I think this is the reason why he said such a good boy. <laughs> he's, he's, he's doing a little dance. <laughs> yep. When I'm on the mic, even the dead rise up. DJ G. Grave and G. Rave. <laughs> Get it, because Grave, G. Rave. Oh, I didn't, I didn't even think about ter terrorizing. I forgot to do that. Oh, wow, well, that's fine. Oops. That's fine. My my terror types for my two Pokemon wouldn't be, wouldn't matter that much anyway. So, because I'm using a dark type move and a uh... oh well, didn't even need it. <laughs> didn't even need it. Okay. I like the amp version of him. Yeah. I like is that that's the one with where it's uh, purple and yellow, yeah, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah. And that was uh, the other. Yeah. I get, I, I get you. I'm on the same boat with that, with that typing too, or that coloring of the, of that whole one. And we got the gym badge. <laughs> Getting to watch the concert. Six Pokemon, easier to catch Pokemon up to level 50. Surprisingly, my Pokemon are a little bit higher than that, and yet. <laughs> And yet they're still obedient, obeying me. That's kind of cool. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you do give me Shadow Ball. I was kind of wondering about that. And in case you were always wondering, like, what do you mean by wondering that? On my uh, Violet version, on my original account, um, I have a Shiny Mistrevis. And Mistrevis learned Shadow Ball leveling up. I think it's like 47. And my Mistrevis is like... 23 or something like that, 24. So I thought, well, maybe I can find a TM if that's in the game. And it is in the game, but it's in this area. I didn't know. I was thinking, like, oh, maybe it's the gym leader gives it to me. Yes, it is. Gym leader gives it to me. So I have plenty of time. I'll have no problem getting the getting the uh, Shadow Ball TM for when I get to this point. I've actually had to update uh, everybody of what training Pokemon I've caught since um, maybe I lost up. Updated everyone. Uh, today, at the time we're recording this, in the morning, I had caught a shiny mud break. And then later in the afternoon, before the girl came over, I wound up catching a shiny waddle. Wattrel? Wattrel, I think it is? Is that how you say it? Wattrel, the electric yeah, coin? Yeah. So. And then uh, yesterday, I caught. What was it? Um. Uh, what was it? Oh, uh, shiny uh, Lechonk. Uh, and I like and I like shiny Lechonk. It pink. It looks like a pig. <laughs> Even this evolution that I have it as is, is also pink. And I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. All right, uh, we got we got plenty. We got a little time still. Uh, let's see if we can't get that um, guy to evolve or that one that you like. Um, the only problem is, I don't know how my Pokemon are going to match up in some of these raids, and I feel like that's going to be my best chance. 
There's one over here. Let's check out a few raids. Hopefully we'll um, hopefully we'll be able to get the uh, the ice dragon type to evolve. Hey, truth be told, hang on, what does my, my team look like? Yeah, it, these two are the ones that I'm not sure what I'm keeping. But now I feel like I want to keep this one. But I'm still not. I have another idea in mind, but that means training a whole new Pokemon at a specific level, and then freaking getting it up to the level we're at right at we're at right now. Which means I would need you or Parker's help to do these raids, so I can actually level up said Pokemon a little higher. Three star. Ah, you're. Our, oh, I shouldn't even battle with this thing. Let's see here. You are rock. But you're also bug fighting. You wouldn't work. Oh, you're, uh, I don't think I have anything for this. No, I don't have anything for that. Okay. What? Really? Hey, it's shiny. No, it's not. Oh. Shiny would be blue. Oh, never mind. Yeah. I'm pretty sure shiny's blue. I don't, have, I don't have any other way to, to to get the items up. Actually, I want to check. Let me check the auction thing. It, it's kind of out of the way a little bit, but it's well, not quite out of the way. It's right there. Okay, I couldn't do it. I wanted to try something, but I couldn't get it to work. All right, what do you got? Dive ball, grab a berry, fresh water. Useless. Um, can't go on that side. Well, we can, but I'm not going to. Um, there's a fire one there, but... I mean, it's not that. Let's check it out. Let's check out that fire one over there. Hopefully it's something good that we can actually tackle it with. actually going to be able to get to it that's the question because sometimes a map can be deceiving oh look at this so I've only noticed it on this version for some reason I've had times where the, that uh, when I'm doing when I'm doing the boost with this uh, particular boat one the camera falls back and I'm and the characters like right up ahead but when the moment I stop, watch this. Hmm. It's, just, it's just like just this quick zoom in. Hmm. I don't know. I've, I've noticed it in a few places. It does, well, I wouldn't say a few places. I've just noticed it a few times. So, uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's like right up there. I can't get there. I need, I need to beat the last Titan to do that. That's not going to happen. Oh, that drift is bothering me. The only other thing I could think of is maybe battling some actual trainers or something. Maybe get that experience that way. Check this one. Oh, TM. Light screen. Useless! One the God dang it. Alright, uh... What's that water? My water one should be okay. And besides, I have a grass cat. That would be perfect. I'm looking for maybe a two or three. Three star would be great if I can, if, if um, easy enough. But I'm looking for, I'm trying to get some candies. I think the Arctobax will evolve in one level or two. Can you check that for me? I need to know exactly what level it evolves. We're at 47, so. All for. Well, that sucks. Um. We don't have anything for that, I don't think. 
I'm aware these are the E's. Yeah, I think that's still a thing. Oh. Okay. Um. What other ones are there? I'm trying to not freaking. Stop it! Stop it! Ay. Dang. Drift. It's bothering me. Just be thankful we're not doing any other Let's Plays on the Switch. Right? Mm -hmm. I might have to, well, I was gonna say, I might have to hold off on doing some more of these videos until I can get this fixed, but A, you can't fix the controllers and Nintendo doesn't usually help with that, but I don't know. It's bothering me. All that time trying to hunting, I think, is the problem. Uh, you're not going to be able to allow it. Not right now? No. Okay. 54. 54? Holy cow, okay. I thought it was like 48, 49 or something. Okay, yeah, he's right. Alright, well, let's just do this. We'll do a raid. I'll... I'm trying to figure out when will, when will probably be the time to start evolving that. Like, what part of the game will might be able to evolve it? Hmm. I mean, it all depends, because I have to check everything. Pikachu. Yep. It's a two-star, but it's a ghost type. The radio is intimidate. Way is in time. Okay. Night slash. That Pikachu. Yep. Scotty would not be happy. Don't catch. The... We're not interested. Yep. That's okay. Yeah, I did. I'm gonna try to see how 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 many levels I can get with all those mediums. Thing you're gonna do the thingy. The what thingy? You go to your box instead of going to your bag. Hmm. Oh. Well, we'll get these guys at 48. Light bulb's probably gonna be stuck to 47 for now, but that's okay. Um. Trying to check something. You said it. Um. Where was it? Oh, okay, I only got the one. All right. Oh, I do have a dust stone. I wonder how I got that. I really don't know. Really I, profile. I know, I could really use it right about now. <laughs> I could really use it. Uh, son of a biscuit. Okay, let's see what all we got left. So we got you. He's the last gym leader. He, She would be the next gym leader on our list. And then there's... There's this team star, but I think his I think the Pokemon in there are like 55. And then you're the you're the last team star we have to face. And then there's this Titan here, which I don't like it. Mm. But if I remember right, um, I think that would be after we beat this gym. I think that, I think it's the fact that we, we like I think that the order is going to be. Gym leader, gym leader, Titan, Team Star, Team Star, and then... That one is fighting. Yeah, I'm aware that's a fighting. <laughs> and this guy, this is a guy, Fairy. But, um, but yeah, as soon as we get done with all those, I'm supposed to do Pokemon League, which is over here, with Scotty Boy Rules. I'm supposed to do the finale of the Titans with you, mm -hmm. and Parker wants to do the finale with Team Star, so that much I remember. So looking at everything, with the, with the main finale being a two-parter, we got one episode, two episodes, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like, ten episodes left. 
if everything plays out. Because two gyms, two team star, the one Titan, that's five. The three of the finale of the stories, meaning the Pokemon League, the the Operation Starfall, and the whole thing with um I don't know his name, but he's the one with the dog that we've been helping with the Urban Mysticus. Yeah, and him. Yeah. So that's three episodes right there. And then the the finale finale, which I'm not gonna spoil it yet in case anybody hasn't gotten to this point yet, is gonna be a two part. So that's yeah, that's ten episodes. So um so right now I think we're gonna start wrapping up. How's that sound? Okay. Alright, and I think oops, didn't mean to do that. Um, I think I will wrap up where we'll be going next. And judging by whether or not I do it with Parker or with you, well, or probably going to be Parker, depending on when I can get her over. Or if it's going to be you, in case you're just out of the beep here when I need it. Because I think with Skyboy Rules, um... I don't get to record with him again until next Friday. At the time of recording, this is a, this is Wednesday, so it won't be this Friday, but it'll be the next Friday because I just saw him yesterday. Um, if I play my cards right. I'm gonna I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Parker gets the second gym. She wanted to do. I think she wanted the Titan. She will get the Titan. Where the heck did it? Yeah. So here, I think she wanted the Titan. So. I'm gonna guess Parker could do this episode. Um, she's then after that maybe you can be a part of the next episode, which I think will start being the ice trainer. And then I'll probably do one more with Parker if I get the chance. And that will be yeah, that'll be that'll be the one with the Titan. So that that'll be the one with the Titan. And then. I'll do one with Skyboy Rules. That will be this fairy one here. And then you can come. We, you, we can do the fighting one. And then we can do all three of you guys with the finales. So that means I would have to I would have to do yours and Parker's before I see Skyboy Rules the next time. Because Skyboy Rules will be doing the Pokemon League. And then we can do the straight up finales from there. Otherwise we'd have to wait a long a time. Because if I play my cards right, that means I can do Skyboy Rules... The one with him with the fairy, the fairy uh, team star on the Friday that I'll be seeing him. And then the Tuesday, next time I see him, we'll, we can do the uh, the Pole One League and the final area. Which I'll bring up to everyone, I guess. It's the great career of Paldea. So, talking about right? Mm hmm. Alright, so, ready to wrap up? Yeah. Alright. Thank you all so much for watching this episode of Pokemon Violet Series. I've been Big LT. I've been Big LT. You got any final words? See you in my lights. See you in my lights play. Yeah, I know. Because <laughs> it's already started, but... I know. I know. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Sorry it's been a little bit kind of heavy with my, not much story, but... Been a while. So but anyway, like, subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.